Okay, well, let's try and see what's with YouTube Studio today. Oh, load times. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. 99. Uh, those numbers aren't deceiving. Okay. I'm just missing one more. Uh, one million more. Okay. Time to read the comments. And that's a lot of comments. That's a lot. Alright. I guess it's time to make something. It's Q&A time. Okay. Well, let's start by going through every single error I can find. Okay, so our first problem will have to be, does this work with my Mac? And holy shit. Well, here we go. So last time I did mention something about the Mac's compatibility list and um, I did uh, mention it and showed it on screen as well. And I even put it provi well, provided links in the description. So uh, looks like some people need to go back and check. So, okay, just in case you don't have to go back there, I'll check the links down here as well so uh, you can have a read and see if your machine is c capable of uh, running Big Sur or not and uh, most of these are saying like um, 2011s and then uh, but if you have like a 2012 you're actually most likely to be okay with this uh, everything should work straight out of the box um, with the, if you have a 2012 model and uh, or higher and uh, well this excludes from Mac Pros because, you know, Mac Pros are just uh, a different caliber and those are different machines and they should just work normally as they should with anything. Oh, and also uh, I did mention something previously about graphics acceleration. So uh, it turns out that if you go to the Big Sur application and um, you go to the settings menu, uh, there's a way you could disable animations. So maybe this is why people are getting a bit confused if their Macs are compatible or not, because if you disable the animations, uh, those without metal, uh, you can actually run Big Sur uh, just a bit. But uh, I would wait until then. Just to make sure guys, please do read the description down below so you can actually see where I get my sources from and uh, you also could uh, get a little bit of uh, information from there as well. Now our next question will be about uh, patching the text. Uh, now for 2013 machines you do not need to do this, so that includes like the late 2013 iMac, um, early 2013 MacBook Air, the early 2013 MacBook Pro. Um, I don't think any other machine really needs to patch the kex other than those ones I've just mentioned. So, oh, and uh, Spawn confirms it as well, so thank you very much. Now, if you don't understand what I meant by kex, is that uh, last time I did mention something about um, Wi Fi and Bluetooth uh, modules to get those uh, working, so you actually needed to patch the kex, and I did show it on screen as well. So, just in case if you didn't, so I'm gonna run it through right now. Open patch sir, open uh, patch kex, click continue, chuck your password in and then just let it install and then you should restart and your machine should get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth just like that. Easy peasy, nothing else. Okay, next question is hid Wi-Fi hidden network not recognized. Is there a solution? Well, uh, currently we're looking for a fix for that. So um, I don't know if either if that's a kex problem or not, but uh, I'll go and double check and uh, see if there's going to be anything we could do about that. So, okay, on to our next question. The patch sewer is not working. It shows patch sewer quit unexpectedly. Please advise that. No worries, I'll just drop a link right here. Okay, next question. Um, kex packs error message. Um, system volume. Okay, I'm getting okay. That's usually fixed with a restart, really. So it's really simple. So just just restart the machine and then try again. Okay, next question. Hey, can you please help? I got a message on my 2012 iMac. Can I install? Please install this damage. Okay, so this is usually resolved by just uh, clicking on this. I just get dropped the patch here now. Um, yeah, just download this one now. Uh, this is because uh, Apple servers are broken. So uh, blame Apple, uh, not Ben. Uh, any of us. Alright, next thing. Okay, so uh, if you ever had this screen so um, and you've been waiting for uh, ages, just um, uh, the thing is I waited uh, about 45 minutes on this screen so and, uh, and eventually just yeah it'll just patch the USB. Uh, make sure you got like a 3.0 uh, port so 
Um, I, I was using the 2.0 port, uh, and it uh, took really long. So uh, I advise you if to try and get like a 3.0 port. If you don't, then uh, it's fine. Uh, 2.0 port is fine. Also, um, if uh, your USB doesn't work, uh, try something else, like uh, another 16 gigabyte uh, drive. So um, uh, what I used was a SanDisk uh, USB. So uh, try using that, and uh, it worked for me. All right, uh, but it didn't work for my Kingston USB. So then, uh, yeah, just try a different USB model. Okay, now just the last few questions. Uh, okay, not being able to see the EFI folder on restart. Right, okay. Um, uh, this problem is usually resolved by uh, chucking the USB into another port or... Um, so, yeah, you could just double check with that. Uh, what else you could do is have the machine to get to the bootloader and then uh, chuck in your USB. And uh, if it doesn't appear, then um, the USB is no good. So we would have to use another one. Like I mentioned previously before, uh, just keep on finding USB sticks and then uh, see if they c are compatible with it or not. Okay, next question. Uh, okay, uh, boot loop problem and uh, not being able to boot. Uh, okay, okay. Um, so, this problem is usually like uh, compatibility issues. So, uh, you gotta double check um, what your Mac model is. So, um, I hope you guys actually made a backup now because uh, if you haven't, then uh, it's, sorry, your machine is kind of lost there. Um, so I can't really do much then other than uh, you gotta check the compatibility list of your Mac model. Um, other than that, uh, you can drop me a comment down below and uh, I'll answer it soon enough. And then, uh, oh my god, yeah, this is something I forgot to address and this is so important. Um, yeah, make sure um, every time you actually needed to do a primary set, um, Make sure you actually keep that USB. Do not wipe it, otherwise you'll lose everything. And uh, you need to use that USB to boot back from EFI if you ever do a primary set. You can't do it alone. And um, yeah, I, I'm so sorry to mention that. And uh, I should have addressed that a lot earlier. Thanks for reminding me, Anthony. Um, and uh, other than that, the uh, rest are just uh, really nice comments about um, the music. Uh, the thing is, um, I'm editing this in Final Cut, so whatever goes on it and it's been published after, I can't change it, anything else than that, so uh, I really do apologize about that, so um, I'll go and uh, fix it this time with this one. And uh, that's it, so um, I, if I haven't answered your question, it's probably because uh, uh, I haven't got this chance to see them just yet. Um, one important note, uh, Ben did say is that uh, why he couldn't um, support certain versions of Mac OS uh, right away. So if there isn't an install assistant, he just can't add support to it. So that's that. And um, also the other question was something about um, getting recurring updates. Um, now I highly doubt that uh, we would have to continually uh, dropping patches for each update. I really highly doubt that. I assume it's automatic, but uh, we'll have to wait and see until uh, Apple drops another big sewer update soon enough. So uh, then uh, I'll update you guys then. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to comment down below and uh, tell me any of them and uh, hopefully I can resolve them again. Uh, but be sure to check down the description to see and uh, look at the GitHub pages to um, share your problems with everybody else so uh, and that we could fix them as well. So uh, yeah, make sure to uh, watch the whole thing again and uh, obviously to uh, see if anything actually helped. Thank you very much. And also thank you for the hundreds uh, odd subscribers as well. Uh, thanks, thanks for the milestone. Can't, uh, can't get this far without you guys, or with Ben. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!